the format of being robot. My name is Lucas, and I'm currently an adult. So, I decided to tell you a story that happened in 1985, and no, this isn't like a game where you try calling the Nintendo headquarters. You would get weird whispers and terrifying screams, and no, nobody told me to harm myself. So basically, I was given a gift on my birthday from my uncle. He told me that he got it from a recently opened GameStop. I was so happy that the game he got me was Super Mario Bros. I instantly began to play the game. For some reason, I was playing as Luigi instead of Mario, but I didn't care, and it was exactly how I remembered it from the original. But when I kept playing, it suddenly showed static, and the blocks were empty. I assumed it was a glitch and decided to keep playing, but the screen went black, and something said my name. It took a long time to show who said my name. What was shown scarred me for life. It was a distorted picture of Mario. He had a black shirt, and his face was white with black voids. He had a distorted mouth. It went back to normal, and the sky was black. But as soon as I reached the flagpole, a message appeared on the screen, and it said, Innocence doesn't get you far. The camera pans to the broken flagpole with blood on it. The castle was destroyed, and Mario was standing behind Toad. Mario blows Toad away, and he explodes with blood going everywhere. It pans back to Luigi, and he was horrified, like I was. To make things even worse, there were eyes everywhere, and they looked like they were staring right at me. A text in the middle of the screen said, in capital letters, RUN, and I did that. Mario was faster than me, but I managed to outrun him. I managed to get past everything, and then I saw a pipe at the beginning. I entered it, and I died. It showed the regular game over text but with Luigi's head on a stick with blood everywhere. At this point, I turned off the game and told my uncle about everything. So he took the game and gave it to the game store for a refund. I was happy that I don't have to deal with that nightmare ever again. At the time I'm writing this story, the game was found in an abandoned warehouse. Fortunately, the game was destroyed. I never saw the godforsaken game again, so I can enjoy any Mario game without thinking about that one time. <laughs>